It's almost the end of 2017 and what a fantastic year it's been. It's been filled with lots of juicy product announcements. But which camera is my favourite of 2017? Well, it could be the D850 from Nikon. I mean, what a perfect way to celebrate their 100th birthday. In fact, that was all they did for their 100th birthday, apart from that weird dance. But to figure out if this really is my camera of the year, I took the D850 out, now on some Nikon Pro photographers and put the camera through some vigorous, non-scientific field tests, all in the name of science. That happens in the field. Squarespace is the sponsor of this video, the place to go for setting up your own domain, website or online store. I took my lone D850 to meet up with Protog Matt Usher who bought one. Why Matt Usher? Why? The, the tilty screen was one thing because of my landscape work. It lets me push it up and I can see, because I, I do a lot of low angle stuff, it just makes it a lot easier to compose, focus and everything else and checking exposure. The focusing on the 810 was good, but I think the focusing on this is a lot better. I can already tell there's a, there's a mark. Steady on Usher, let's address the big fat megapixel elephant in room first by shooting some landscapes. That bit looks great, but that bit's over there. We're shooting over there, but for this shot to work, the sea has to be here, but at a minute, the sea is over there. That's fine, the tide will come in. Wait it out and let nature take its course. Nature's being a bit of a twat, actually. Still, at least the tide came in. Every cloud, eh? Not that you can see the clouds in this darkness. But just because it's cloudy and overcast and your human eyes can't actually see anything because there's seemingly no light, don't give up. Try a long exposure, like several minutes long. That kind of exposure will probably smooth out the movements of the clouds and probably take in any kind of residual light that's still available. The files do look pretty kick-ass. Dynamic range is good though, not a huge step up from the D810. Worked out kind of right, didn't it? But if we're looking at image quality, perhaps a free plus minute exposure is not the best way to judge image quality. Perhaps then it would be best to compare it to something bigger. And not so surprisingly, it's not as sharp as the Fuji. But unlike the Fuji, the D850 does have good noise performance. Surprising for a high megapixel camera, as is the speed. All right, so anyway, we're going to shoot with the D850 some wildlife to test how good it is compared to the D5 in terms of autofocus. But I'm wondering where the wildlife is. There's a couple of metal detectorists. We're going to recreate the famous Nintendo game Duck Hunt. Sorry, Duck Hunt. Told you the field test wouldn't be scientific. This one isn't even in the field. PJB is a pro photographer that uses a D5 and D810 to shoot Harleys from the back of a Harley though. I don't have anything to crash into, so off we go. You used to kind of doing this with a D5, but scoping well, it's set to 3D on a continuous focus motor. With our DJI duck taking flight, how would a D850 compare to the D5, which has the same focusing system in it? It's in and out a little bit. That's how we like it, in and out. With the duck circling above, the D850 missed a couple of shots, but it really wasn't far off what the D5 can do. There we go. Come on. Boom. So, how does this compare to the D850? Well, they're telling me that the 850's got the same autofocus system. It kind of feels close. Let's not pretend that the D850 is a D5 replacement in any way, but it's still impressive that you can have that speed and those megapixels all in one camera. It's no lab test for AF speed and accuracy, but there are so many variables when it comes to this. How well does it work for someone who needs to get that shot for a living? I met up with pro wildlife photo man Richard Peters to find out. Okay, so the reason I am camouflaged as a Christmas tree today is because we're going hunting, not like that, for deers. We're gonna shoot them with cameras. Don't shoot them with guns. Bad. 
bad, no good. And this is where the D850 comes in handy because, because of that resolution, I don't have to necessarily put a converter on. I can just shoot with the crop in mind or I could switch to DX mode. I've always preferred the D810, that was my favourite camera of all time for wildlife because the image quality was so good um, and the resolution was more important to me than the speed was because I would only shoot high action 10% of the time if that. Yeah. So it was more important that the image quality was good for the other 90% than the 10% that I would need the frame rate. Um, but then that's where the D500 filled the gap because that was fast. But now? Well, now you get the best of both worlds. So now yeah. I've got the resolution all the time and when I need it, the speed is there without having to swap a body over. So there's more chance I'll get the shot still because I haven't got to fumble around in the camera bag for a second body or um, anything like that. 9 FPS with battery grip and 45 megapixels, best of both worlds sums the D850 up nicely, but it offers something a Canon DSLR doesn't have. The video mode of the D850 is a pleasant surprise, 4K full frame although it doesn't have log, continuous autofocus is a bit slow, and the peaking mode is not available in 4K. AF is bad in video mode, but despite the lack of log, the video looks good. No moiré, aliasing, I set everything to low, saturation, contrast, etc. on the flat profile, and the files are detailed and grades well. Nice colour signs. The D850 could and should be the camera of 2017. It did what Canon should be doing, to offer up killer features that you'd see in more expensive cameras. To not just have a high resolution offering and a speed demon, but to consolidate it all into one. It would be my camera of the year if Sony didn't release the A7R 3 because that has the resolution, that has the speed, the autofocus, and the video mode. In fact, the A7R 3 is very close to the complete package in a mirrorless camera that consumers love. You know, if we're talking about lightweight, something that does 4K video, got a decent burst, decent autofocus, I think the A7R 3 is the good option. But this is also a great stills camera with that burst mode and the good autofocus. It's not A9 kind of autofocus, but still. And the best thing is, it doesn't have to make a sound. You're firing off a whole load of shots, but it doesn't make a noise. It's brilliant for wildlife stuff. Now, the D850 really should be just DSLR of the year, a made-up accolade that doesn't mean much to the people who are going to use it, mainly protogs. For the rest of us, like Sony or not, it's hard not to be impressed by the advancements that are being made in mirrorless cameras like the A7R 3 For me, the D850 showed that there's still life in DSLRs and in the brand. Nikon has not been making massive splashes for a while now, but with the D850, the pendulum has swung back to them. It's a big, bold statement that you'd think the likes of Canon has to answer to after the disappointments of the 5D4 and 6D2. But then Sony makes it seem so easy by casually releasing the A7R 3 with a better autofocus, the resolution and a decent video quality. It's probably not actually the best camera of the year, but Nikon should be given kudos for showing they're not afraid to go all out with a camera like the D850. Thank you for watching and thank you to the sponsors of this video, Squarespace, an all-in-one website that allows you to create beautiful websites easily and quickly. We have a plethora of templates to choose from with 16 new designer templates, award-winning 24-7 customer service, a simple way of transferring domain names over. Squarespace is ideal for those who want to create a personal website or for e-commerce. You can start a free trial today and you can get 10% off your first purchase with the code KAI. Yo! Yo! <laughs> what was wrong with that? Nothing, it was perfect. I just need to get out of your frame. All right, let's see. It does look a bit small on there, doesn't it? It does. It does, yeah. Big lens, tiny body. You could make a website out of that. I think. I think maybe there is mm. one. I've ordered a dog costume. Sausage dog. What the hell that is that? That can't be right. It.